by your real story. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Depicting the story of a very special a member of our community, Heather Fontaine. <laughs> Her part will be played by the brilliant and now lovely, thanks to some help from Matt McGee, uh, Chris Rutherford. <laughs> After that, we'll be bringing Heather up to speak with us more, and then Chris will join us as well. Later, we'll ask the audience to, to share some of their own responses and experiences. Mm. This is a this this is a very special performance in connection with our main stage production of Tale of Two Cities, which you see on stage before before us. Um, and and that that production is really a retelling of the famous novel through the eyes of a drag queen uh, getting ready to perform that evening. So it takes place in the 80s, and it was written in the 80s, uh, which should be noted because while it's a ridiculous comedy, it draws lines between inequality and the French Revolution and what it was like to be LGBTQ in the 80s. <coughs> And the sheer fact that this play is being produced now and is still relevant now stirs up a lot of questions. <laughs> and, uh, and, and really questions about how our society is still addressing and even how we still discuss, uh, discuss issues that we all deal with still, and especially those in the LGBTQ community. From marriage to the AIDS crisis and uh, especially, and unfortunately very uh, suddenly, personal safety. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, especially in light of recent events, we must share our stories in order to grow as a community, and that's why we're here this evening. Uh, it happens one step at a time through, through intimate and honest and controversial and challenging conversation. Mm. And really that that helps us, that's how we make the world a better place, especially in the theater community. Yeah. And I know that's a, a deep part of the mission of Your Real Stories as it well. Is. So we're very happy to be partnering with you on this and bringing you in tonight. Um, please, I'll, a couple of housekeeping items. You guys all uh, have this survey right here, you, uh, or you were passed out this survey. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some more copies outside if you didn't get it. Please complete it and return it at the end of the event. We'll be out there by the piano in the lobby. Um, please silence all electronic devices. And also you'll see in the lobby uh, this cool flyer of our Pride series. This event is part of our Pride series uh, at American Stage this month. And we have one more event on Monday, Goosed Fairy Tales, which is super fun. Um, it's also a fundraiser for Suncoast AIDS, so please come back on Monday for that. Uh, I think that's it. So. Uh, Jay is going to get up next, so without further ado, I would like to introduce you to a founding artistic director of Your Real Stories, Jay Sheldon. Yay! Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I am the founding artistic director of Your Real Stories, as is my counterpart, Dr. Lillian Dunlap. And uh, Your Real Stories has been producing documentary theater, or as we like to call it, theatrical journalism, yeah. theatrical yeah. journalism, yeah. Uh, <laughs> since uh, we've actually been meeting since 2006 and producing work since 2010. Uh, we are a professional documentary theater company. Um, and one of the things that I want to follow that Tiffany said is please fill out those forms because as a professional documentary theater company, we need to be funded. Uh, in order to receive grants and corporate sponsorship, we need to prove uh, that what we do is good. So please fill out those survey forms. Uh, the more, the better. I know it takes a few minutes of your time and sometimes you're trying to get out the door, but please, please, please. Uh, and not only that, but we will be doing exit interviews following the performance. Those are really important as well so that we can uh, get our message out there and share with the larger community, expand our range, and let people know what you think of the work that we're doing because we believe that it's really powerful and really important, especially, as Tiffany said, in light of recent events. Um, I just want to share a little something. Uh, how many has, have been to a Your Real Stories performance before? 
Great. How many are first timers? Oh, wow. Oh, Thank you to all the devotees and all the first timers. Thank you so much for being here. Um, in light of that, uh, I just want to tell you what we do. We introduce the community to itself. Our mission is to encourage people to talk across real and perceived differences of all kinds. And the way that we do that is through the magic of theater. Uh, we really believe in the power of theater to draw people into stories and to get people engaged in ways that they don't ordinarily have opportunities to do. And so we go out into the community and we interview people, anybody, all people, um, as many different community members as we can. To date, since 2010, I believe we've collected about 50 interviews. Mm, at least. Uh -huh. At least 50. Oh, actually, no, if you count all of them, it's probably close to 100. Yeah. Um, and, but with, uh, between 30 and 40 of those interviews have been turned into original theater. Um, last year alone, we wrote five hours of original theater okay. uh, in a period of six months in a project called St. Pete's Stories. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we, we sit with people often for three or four hours, and out of that, currently what we do with them is we write 10 to 15, in this case, maybe 15 or 20 minute transcripts, or scripts, um, and we're trying to preserve the voice of the storytellers that we sit with, and just to make sure that we stay honest for uh, you journalists out there that know how important it is to preserve voice and mitigate bias and prejudice, um, best journalism speak. <laughs> um, uh, we keep ourselves honest because instead of stopping with the theatrical production, we insist on following every performance with an opportunity for you, the audience, to meet the storytellers. Mm -hmm. We do this because we just we know how important it is, how um, how necessary it is for us to actually listen to each other's stories, um, so that we don't make snap judgments, uh, so that we don't make uninformed decisions based on what we think someone else is without really sitting to listen and find out who 